All right, WWE Universe, what is going on today? Hell in the Cell, that's what's going on tonight. And it's going to be a great matchup with all these great superstars. Uh, we've got a Hell in a Cell that's going to be out of this world tonight. It's going to be some great, great matches. Uh, last year was off the chain. This year might be that much better. Uh, we hope so, anyway. I'm looking over the match, match card tonight just to give some predictions about, you know, this evening's events. And I got to say there's some good matches, and I got to say there's some rehashed matches that really are unnecessary and are not that interesting. Just like all the events this year, it's kind of been hit or miss. Um, this one here, though, I think there are some really good matches in store for us tonight. Starting off with the kickoff show, we got a six-man tag going on. It's Ziggler, Cesaro, and Neville against Barrett, Sheamus, and Rusev. Uh, we've seen a lot of six-man tag matches this year on Raw and SmackDown, even on WWE Live events. Uh, a lot of six-man action been going on. Uh, a lot of weird pair-ups, uh, you know, Rollins and Ambrose and uh, Reigns just a couple weeks ago. That was kind of strange. I thought it was going to go a different way, but they surprised me on that one by uh, keeping Seth Rollins the heel that he is. Because um, a lot of people want the Shield back together again. I mean, it, it was a great force to be reckoned with when they were together, and a lot of people are still crying for the Shield to come back. And I thought maybe that was going to lead into uh, another venture with the Shield. I was wrong. Uh, so that was kind of disappointing, kind of a teaser that didn't go the right way. But anyway, going back to the matchup tonight to kick off the show, Dolph Ziggler, Neville, Cesaro, Rusev, Sheamus, and King Barrett. That's the six-man tag team for tonight. And uh, I'm going with the good guys on this one. I just think they want to get a good feel in your heart before the show starts, and I think the good guys will prevail over the three most hated guys in WWE right now. WWE.com kind of agrees with what I'm saying. Uh, they have one guy on here, uh, Ryan Papola. He says that he will vote to bypass Halloween and go right into giving thanks for these six superstars being holiday packaged into one giant contest together. Brute strength beats out speed and athleticism in this one. He's going with Rusev, Sheamus, and King Barrett. He's the only one out of the panel that's going to pick the bad guys. So be uh, for tonight. Uh, I think it's going the other way, my opinion. Not going to get too deep into this. These are just predictions before the big show begins. And let's see the next matchup. We're going to go with the Tag Team Championship. New Day versus the Dudley Boys. Minus Xavier Woods. He's not going to be there. Thank the Lord. No trombone. No annoying Xavier tonight. Maybe the Dudley Boys will have their opportunity to sneak one in, be the better tag team, and get that 10th Tag Team Championship title. I think it's going to happen tonight. Dudley Boys take this one in the Hell in a Cell from the New Day. Uh, the website says everybody here is kind of going with the Dudley Boys, except Jeff Laboon. He thinks the New Day is going to be the ones walking out of here with the championships. And uh, if they do, that will give them some validity with those belts because it'll be a two-on-two -two affair without Xavier Woods. So on that aspect, WWE would give the Tag Team Champions a little bit more validity as being champions because they took out the nine-time WWE champs, the Dudley Boys, by themselves. Um, it could go that route. I'm not going to say it won't, but I think that this is the time the Dudley Boys break it down, come what they came for, and get those belts back. And I think that'll bring a lot of domination to the tag team titles. And I'm going with the Dudley Boys tonight in that match. Uh, next up. We're going to look at the next match, the Divas Championship rematch from a month ago. Charlotte and Nikki Bella go one-on-one -on, -one on this one, and it's Nikki's rematch. But the thing is, I don't know why you'd give Charlotte the title a month ago and then take it away from her again to give it back to the longest reigning Divas Champion. It kind of makes no sense to me here. Uh, we could go for a no contest, maybe a disqualification from Paige. Uh, something like that could happen. But I don't see Charlotte losing this title at all. I'm guaranteeing this one. Uh, Charlotte walks out with the belt. I guarantee it. Uh, not even a remote chance in my mind Nikki gets the title back tonight. And the, the website looks like here that uh, Charlotte, 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 and two Nikki Bellas. So two out of three going with Nikki on this one. I think that's just to throw us off a little bit. I don't think those guys really believe that Nikki's getting that title. If these girls were in a Hell in a Cell match tonight, that would be cool. But I guess we're not ready for Divas in a Hell in a Cell just yet. The Revolution might take us there next year. Who knows? We'll see. But anyway, I love Divas matches. They've been awesome. NXT, WWE, whatever you look at it, these Divas are punching it every single time as hard as they can. And I love it. So keep going with the Divas revolution. And I, I think Charlotte's got this no problem. Uh, next up, next match we look at Kevin Owens, Ryback rematch for the IC title. 
like I said with the same match prior, uh, Kevin Owens just took that championship. He needs some validity to beat Ryback twice in a row. We'll give him that. And uh, it's, it's a no-brainer for me. Kevin Owens takes it, and he keeps the belt. Uh, the website, look here. Uh, Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens, Ryback, Ryback. Kevin Owens, so it's 3-2, just throw you off a little bit, that's why they split that decision. And it's definitely going to be Kevin Owens in this one. Up next, our uh, beautiful match here, mystery guest, we don't know who it is, it's an open challenge from John Cena at a pay-per-view, which is kind of cool, I like that, because you're, you got that little bit of mystery going on, who can this be, you know? I had a couple thoughts in my head that I thought it was going to be Neville, but then I saw he's going to be on the kickoff show, so it's not going to be Neville. Um, we saw Dolph Ziggler go for it already. Uh, you know, and Cesaro went for it too and didn't get it. But I think Ambrose is going to be the dark horse to come out the curtain and get that belt tonight because Cena's going on vacation pretty soon. No, no, for how long. But we need a baby face to hold that title and to keep the validity going. It's all about validity. Uh, if you have a title, you have to have a reason why you have that title. And that's what makes it believable. And I think if Ambrose goes in there tonight and knocks Cena out the box, gets the belt, people will still believe that championship means something as long as Ambrose is carrying it. That's my pick for tonight. Dean Ambrose wins the United States Championship. And we send John Cena on vacation. And he will be missed, especially in this fall of 2015 when they, WWE kind of needs him the most. So it's kind of a bad timing, but we'll see how that works out. Uh, the website also, Howard Finkel thinks the same way I do because he thinks Dean Ambrose is going to be the one that comes in as well. We also got Joey Styles picking Stardust for tonight. I don't think so. No, it's, that's uh, pretty often left field in my opinion. Uh, Dean Ambrose is also picked by Jeff Laboon. Now, I picked Ambrose before I even looked at this. and I just thought that was the most legitimate reason for uh, a United States Championship person would be Ambrose. That's just what I thought. So that WWE was on my wavelength there because two guys have picked him so far. And then the next one really hits home on me because it's Baron Corbin of NXT. Now, I've said Baron Corbin had a great opportunity to come in at the last pay-per-view when it was Jericho and Reigns and Ambrose versus the Wyatts because I think that he would fit perfectly with those two guys as maybe a Shield version two, if you will. Uh, he just has that same charisma as those two guys and and to have that that dominant force now with reigns and ambrose they would go right through Strowman and the wyatts i think it would be it'd be a hell of a match to see those three going with the wyatts uh baron corbin fits nicely with them i think he's ready uh he's definitely main eventing nxt last week against rhino and he's gaining a lot of speed and he's ready for the wwe in my opinion i think the wwe is ready for him and I think they need him to actually uh, fill in some gaps that are going to be coming in the near future. Uh, I don't think he's going for the United States title, though. I don't think they're going to bring him in and, you know, have a, have a, a match with uh, Cena. I don't think that's going to happen. But you never know. Uh, but Baron Corbin will be great with Ambrose and Reigns, in my opinion. And next up, Ryan Popola will say The Miz. I don't want to see it. I don't think it's going to happen. I think The Miz is pretty much just concentrating on The Miz TV show and whatever else he's got going on on the side. I don't think he's going to be holding any titles anytime soon, and the United States Championship is kind of below him, and his uh, ego is too big for it. So I'm not thinking The Miz at all on that one. I'm going with Ambrose. That's my pick for the mystery United States Champion uh, for this evening, and I think he's going to win it. I think Ambrose walks out with the United States Championship tonight. On to our next match, Bray Wyatt against... Roman Reigns, we've seen it a thousand times, and this is in a hell in a cell. It's one thing we haven't seen yet, and uh, I think it's a great way to wrap up this feud that's way overdue about being wrapped up, okay? Uh, Roman Reigns uh, will dominate Bray Wyatt tonight, and he will win this match. Uh, that's my guarantee that he will win this match, and he will put an end to Bray Wyatt once and for all, and it'll be very interesting to see where both of these individuals go in the near future on what path that the writers decide to push them, um, because there's a lot of ways you can go with Reigns and Bray Wyatt after this match is once and done. It's, it's, there's a lot of ways you can go with it. We'll get into that more at another program. This is just predictions for tonight, and we're going to keep that, that going. Uh, the website says Bray Wyatt, it says Roman Reigns, it says Bray Wyatt, it says Roman Reigns, it says Roman Reigns. It's kind of a mixed bag, 
but I'm going to go with Reigns on this one because if Bray Wyatt wins, you know this isn't over and Roman will come back for revenge. So Roman Reigns has to put an end to it tonight at Hell in a Cell and that's what's going to happen. Roman Reigns is victorious against Bray Wyatt in the cell. Next up, in my opinion, should be the main event tonight. I'm thinking it's not because in my mind, any title match for the world championship is the main event. And uh, it's not a very popular main event in my opinion. I don't think there's a real point to this, but whatever. Um, Seth Rollins, Kane for the title. Now if Kane loses, he's no longer director of operations. That's cool because nobody liked that character anyway. And that's, that's got to go away and they need a reason to do it. And that's why I think this match is taking place. Because if he loses to Seth Rollins tonight, he will not be Corporate Kane anymore. And that character will thankfully die and never come back again. And that's what I'm hoping happens tonight. Actually, I think that's going to guarantee another one for Seth Rollins. And also, Seth Rollins beating Kane is a very big leap in his career. So that's what this match is all about. Pushing Seth Rollins and getting rid of Corporate Kane. So Seth Rollins is your winner in this match tonight. Guaranteed. Not going to even think twice about it. And the website says Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins, Kane, Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins. One person says Kane. Well, that's Jeff Laboon. And Jeff Laboon, in my opinion, you don't know shit. <laughs> so that's just what I'm saying. Anyway, that's that match. And we got one more, I think, on the lineup for tonight, which is scripted or slated as the main event. And if there's no title involved, it's not a main event, in my opinion. I don't think it is. Because there's really no point to this match other than we want to see these two Goliaths go at it one more time. Well, here's the thing. Brock Lesnar is a hell of a lot younger than The Undertaker, okay? If Brock Lesnar fought The Undertaker 20 years ago, maybe we'd have a real match on our hands. But you got a grandfather going up against a young guy who's in the best shape of his life, a UFC champion, an NCAA champion, okay? There's no way The Undertaker wins this match tonight. I don't care how many Hell in a Cell matches he's been in in his life, he's not going to win tonight. Brock Lesnar has the steam. He's got the fan base right now. The Undertaker's career is piddling on, on basically nothing right now. And Brock Lesnar wins this match. I don't care if you hate that prediction. I don't care if you hate what, you, uh, what you're hearing from me right now. I don't like to say it because I hate Brock Lesnar. I don't think the guy deserves to be in the WWE because of his opinion about it in the universe. He cares less about the fans. He cares less about the story. He cares less about any of it. Uh, to be slated as the giant that he is and the beast and the beast incarnate and all this other crap. He is very ungrateful for where he's at right now and I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of Brock Lesnar. I'm not buying into it. I never will. But The Undertaker, we have to face facts. The fact is that your time is up and this is the last match of your career. And if you have to go out on a stretcher to prove that, that's probably what's going to happen tonight. I'm going Brock Lesnar with this one. And uh, that's going to end the evening. There may be a few surprise shockers throughout the night. I think the biggest one will be Dean Ambrose winning the United States Championship from John Cena. That's my hopeful surprise of the night. Uh, I expect Paige to break in that Divas match as well and maybe screw it up for Charlotte. But either way, Charlotte walks out with the title. Don't worry about that change in hands. That's not going to happen. Uh, that's my predictions for tonight at Hell in a Cell 2015. Uh, we'll get ready for it. It's about 5.14 right now, Eastern Standard Time. i got a few hours to go to get ready for this. And it's going to be a good night, just like always. I hope they don't go too far in the left field with the storylines, though, like they've been doing lately. I hope they got a good one for us tonight and something cool happens. Uh, we'll be back right after the show with the aftermath of Hell in a Cell 2015. So stay, stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you comment below. Tell me your predictions for tonight. i got a couple hours. I'd like to read them before the show starts. Even while the show is, is on, you can comment and, and let me know what you think of the matches as we go throughout the night. And I'll be back with the aftermath as soon as it's done. Thanks a lot for checking out the predictions for Hell in a Cell 2015 with Bruno. And I'll be back later to talk to you some more. Have a great night, guys. Enjoy Hell in a Cell.